In these 2012 elections, God wants to show himself strong. He wants to set in good government, government that will honor him, that will honor his word, and that will be a blessing to the people of this nation. God wants to do that, but he looks at the heart of a nation. And since the Bible says that he's the one that sets in government, when he looks at this uh, nation, he gives them the rulers that they deserve. Now, he's looking at his church during this time, and he has a promise for his church. Second Chronicles 7:14. if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, I'll forgive their sins, and yes, I will heal their land. God says he will heal our land, but he's looking at a people to see his people, if we will be people that will stand in the gap and will build up the wall, if we'll say, Lord God, move on behalf of our prayers, touch our nation, Lord God, bring your kingdom to this nation, Lord, let your will, your, your will be done in this nation, Lord, let righteousness and truth reign in this nation. God's looking at his people and he's seeing if we'll pray. One of the things we've been doing is repenting on behalf of our nation. Just like in Nehemiah, where Nehemiah repented of his sins and the sins of his nation. Just like Daniel, where he repented of his sins and the sins of his nation. Just like Abraham, where he stood in the gap before Sodom and Gomorrah, and he said, Oh God, please spare that city. If there's 50 righteous, if there's 40, if there's 30, if there's 20, if there's 10. God is looking for us to stand in the gap and build up the walls about our nation. Now God is looking at his people, the church of Jesus Christ, and he's looking at us to see if we'll be the people that will pray, we'll fast, we'll stand in the gap, and yes, we will turn, turn from every evil way. Yes, it does matter how we live. We are not a people that are to be politically correct. We are a people that are to be correct before God. We are to walk in holiness and honor our God. One of the sins that God is calling his people to repent of and calling us to repent on behalf of our nation is the sin of homosexuality. This sin is being pushed forward by special interest groups. It's being pushed forward by our government. June was called the time where we're supposed to celebrate the gay lifestyle. And the Bible calls it sin. He calls it sin. He calls it an abomination. He calls it perversion. God does. And it matters how we live. It matters what we say. It matters what we stand for. We cannot be a people that are politically correct, but we have to be God correct. We have to agree with heaven. During these 2012 elections, God is looking at us and he's seeing if the church is going to be politically correct, whether we're going to stand for what is right and good according to his word, the Bible. And he's looking at us to see if we'll pray and we'll stand in the gap and we'll cry out to heaven asking him to forgive this nation for this sin and that we'll vote for men and women that will stand against same-sex marriage, that will stand against perversion, that will stand against pornography, that will stand for what is right and good in God's sight. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I'm asking for the United States of America, Lord God. I'm asking that you forgive us, Lord God, for our sins, Lord Jesus. Forgive this nation for the sin of homosexuality, Lord Jesus. Please forgive us, Lord, for every way, Lord God, we've been immoral, Lord God. Everywhere, Lord God, we've not honored you, Lord Jesus. Everywhere we've, we've transgressed your laws, Lord God. Forgive us, Lord God, and forgive this nation for pushing forward, Lord. Lord, homosexuality, Lord God for pushing it upon our children, Lord God, for pushing it upon the people, Lord God, of this nation, Lord God. God, for special interest groups, Lord God, go on pushing this forward, Lord. We're asking forgiveness, Lord, and we're asking that you'd intervene, Lord. We're asking that you set in men and women, Lord Jesus, that will do what is right in your sight according to your word, Lord. God, we're asking for good government, Father God. Lord, we're asking that you would move, Father God, and that you would move mightily on behalf of these 2012 elections, Lord God. That you would set in men and women, Lord Jesus, that will stand for what is right and good, Lord. That will call evil, evil, and good, good. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now, please press share, and let's get people praying for these 2012 elections, that God would move mightily. You have a wonderful day, and God bless you. Bye-bye.